Hello everyone! Okay, so this is video two. Uh, so yesterday I worked on a few of the images. Uh, I don't know if you'll notice, I worked a little bit on this. And I used some white pen to add a bit of frost because the Ashwinder egg is supposed to be frozen so that it doesn't explode, I think. <laughs> I worked a little bit on this, but I'm still not finished. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how I finished this one, the Billy Wig. <laughs> so I'll be writing down here, I think we can do this today, uh, information on this insect. And then I also worked on this page, so we have here this is the habitat in the in the suitcase for the Grindelot and all these other water creatures that are in the in the suitcase and I've put some gibber gibberish and some calculations and stuff like this. I don't know if you like it. <laughs> and then is there what is that? Sorry, my light is doing something weird. I hope it's okay for you guys. And then I worked on the Grinchy Lots and I'm quite happy with these. Same white pen, I just bought it. I'm really happy with it. So I just added some suckers <laughs> uh, here as well. And I also printed this. So the way I do this is I've used Photoshop, I just got this from Pinterest, I think, and I just made it transparent and I put it on Word and wherever I wanted on the page and then I took out the page here and I just put it through my printer and there we go. And I'm just gonna use a stamp to put the classification and the aquatic amphibious or, well, in this case, aquatic habitat. And then I'm just gonna write all about the creature on here. And I think that's all I did last night. Oh no, I did the moon cup as well. Here, and the little moon. And same, I printed out these. Uh, yeah, I did work a little bit on the demi guys as well. And I printed these here. Uh, so this is not finished yet. And yeah, so this is what I did last night. Um, and today I've been looking at some images online, uh, mostly on Pinterest, that I thought were really cool. So what I did here is I just grabbed some papers from books and then I just put it on an A4 page, stuck them on the sides there and then passed them through my printer and I printed the images I liked. And I'm planning on using these, uh, acting like you know, you just got them from books or something and it's just like proof that the animals exist or I don't know, have been seen in the natural world or something like that and then I would like to just, you know, stack them in some places so that it's a bit different from my usual papers. I really like it when there's a lot of different textures and a lot of different papers used. So this is what I'm planning on doing and I'm just gonna stick them with like tape, I think, probably, or, or something like that. And there's quite a lot of different animals. So some of them I guess I'm just gonna cut. Some of them I'm not going to cut, some I don't know, I think it just depends on how I feel at the time. It doesn't much matter because, you know, I don't think it matters so much to Newt if everything is cut properly or stuck properly. What he wants is just his creatures being taken care of. So that's what I'm gonna do and 
these are vintage images that I found in some books. Uh, I love the fact that we can find these online now because like the British Library and all these other libraries have scanned a lot of their, the books they have and you can find these online. And well, they're really, really old, so they're free of rights. And they definitely have some really, really weird images of extraordinary creatures. That could be the ones that Newt is talking about. Because J.K. Rowling, of course, hasn't invented everything. And she did use a lot of stuff that's already out there and already exists to base her, her stories on. For which I'm really grateful. Uh, so there's a uh, uh, thing I saw that the dairy crawl, so that's that little birdie that kind of disappears in the suitcase. At one point you see the nundu, that's a giant lion tiger thing uh, with the big inflatable thing. It just goes and tries to catch the babies and the the babies just kind of poop disappear and reappear a bit later or forward and the mom is just taking care of them and there's something said some saying i think i found it on the harry like the potter wiki or something that the dodo could be this dairy crawl because because the dodo disappeared when humans are here so it's kind of Maybe. So I'm just gonna put it on the Deary Crawls page. Where is the Deary Crawl? That's the Deary Crawl. Oh, uh, yeah, I've um, I've passed uh, some of. I had some pages that were still white, so I've just put them in coffee, so they're drying now. So that's a shame, but we can put it here. So my idea is just to put it somewhere there, stick it, and put like an arrow and say like. Is this the dairy crawl? Something like that. <laughs> okay. How about we get started? I think I'm just gonna cut these. Um, oh, and I found these. I'm really happy. Um, this is the Mapa Mundi's Wizier Crisis Wizarding Equipment. Something. So it's definitely. Uh, and I printed it on some nice paper. And I was thinking either I just leave it like this and just put it in the journal or I write down stuff on it about some of the animals we see in the books and stuff and say like, oh, this is where the um, hippogriffs live or here and put like some circles and like bin there, stuff like this. Pretty happy with this one. Uh, found most of these online. And I've printed them on different papers. I was thinking of using this for the werewolf. This is a liner, liner, uh, sorry, lunar cycle. And this is an image of something that kind of looks like the, the Zoo. And like licorne, a unicorn. And this is a Thunderbird, a traditional uh, American, sorry. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, so this is um, traditional Native American Thunderbird image and here too. And I was thinking of using these two as well. And then we have the Hogwarts emblem. This is some art. Um, so I don't have the rights for this one. I'm not sure I'm gonna put it, but I thought it was really, really pretty. So I printed it anyways. I might just add it and write somewhere who did it and stuff. And these are some vintage images again. Yeah. Okay. So what are we going to do today? Um, I'm going to cut up some of these. Yeah. 
And again, it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Because nothing is anyways. So I don't have a page about the werewolf yet. Or the unicorn. So I'm probably going to have to do something about that. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. But we will see. I might just do like, you know, a half page of just notes and information that he would have without like the drawing of the unicorn you know as if he hadn't seen one or something with the so yeah I got this bit of fabric kind of looks Chinese so I quite like it and I was thinking of doing something maybe like this maybe make it smaller just attaching it you know with a like suet and then add a little charm thing and I think this looks pretty good and I just have to just have to start gluing stuff because it's I think it's really hard to just start because you're not sure what you're gonna do next and stuff but like yeah just start you have to start somewhere So right, I'm gonna finish the Zowu drawing and stuff. We have the Thunderbird here. Hmm. That's a bit crowded, isn't it? I could just put it before or after. Probably before. Or I might be able to just Oh, I need to think. Yeah, I've been playing around with these and it's not easy, let me tell you. Good go. So this is how I put them. Could also be like this. Cannot be like this. What do I have in the middle? Nothing. It could be in the middle, but that's a bit far. So let's just put it normal yeah normal is fine i think and i'm just gonna glue it before like here yeah here
Oh, I forgot about the image about the Zobu. Um, this one. If I want to put it, it should be, you know, kind of like in an envelope or something. And I try to do it. a tuck spot maybe I could make a tuck spot with this here hmm. or maybe here some something or in the corner here anyways this is gonna go somewhere here uh, what else do we have here I wanted to put the Hogwarts crest so let's just do that So that's going to be the first page with Newt's name and I wanted to do a little Hufflepuff something something. Oh yeah, I made a little scarf, like a Hufflepuff white and, uh, sorry, yellow and black scarf and I was thinking maybe of putting that somewhere on the first page. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of... A lot of glue, a bit too much glue. I just want it to glue well. That should be good enough. Perfect. What do we want to do? Oh, I have this one. A Mortensia. Uh, that's a love potion and that's you use Ashwinder eggs. Could I put that? I could put a little note. I could put a little note. But I could also put it, you know, with this. I'm, I'm still thinking, you know, do I want these or not, but proper ones, you know, like the Zowu one. Something really pretty that tells you this is the Zowu page. Something like this. But there's so many. I need to think about this because it would be like loads, loads, loads. Okay, if we want the unicorn to go somewhere, where should it go? That's pretty crowded already. This is crowded. That's the deer crawl. Deer crawl. Where are you? Here. Um, should I put the Kelpie and the Sea Serpent thingy close to each other? I could do that. Let's just leave it there for now. So, where was I? Oh, and I've got the Phoenix. Phoenix here. So, I've coffee dyed this page. And I've turned a little bit the pages around. I really like this page, kind of looks a bit burnt. And you find it again with the Zowu, which I think is, is really cool. I think it's pretty cool. Um, here we have three, four, well, a couple more creatures that we don't have in the book. So I think we're just gonna move on to something else to do for now so I'm gonna have to probably finish the pages with the 
creatures that are in the suitcase before we think about the other creatures. Okay. So this is the Thunderbird. And it's gonna go somewhere here as well. And this is from JK Rowling's book. And I just found it and decided to just print it. Because I really like it. If you see, there is the um, bow charcoal. These ones. So I thought it was pretty cool. I'm just going to glue it. And I'm going to put some... This is not ideal. Yeah, I like that. It's not very dark, so I might just darken this with some ink. Um, probably the photo, vintage photo ink from Ranger. Just so it's a bit darker and you can see it better. But again, I like diversity. So some I will put white, some a bit darker, some a bit lighter. Depends. Okay, so how about we write the information from one of the animals okay so I guess we could do the Ashwinder let me just get rid of this all right so uh, let's just start with the classification so I'm just gonna grab my eggs um, should I use this one might be a bit big this one might be a bit small and this is not very vintage let's just use this one and the small one it's a bit too small yeah it will do Classification of the Ash Winder is three X's. Here we go. I think I've put my X's the wrong way, but that should be okay. Uh, so. So it says in J.K. Rowling's book that it's created. So we have the Ashwinder. I have to write the name. Oh god, I feel terrified. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Ashbender. Created when a magical fire Then it says a thin pale serpent with glowing red eyes eyes. So that it's this one. I'll just write it here. Mm, 
glowing red red eyes will rise from the embers and <sighs> slither away into the shadows. leaving an ashy trail behind it. Okay. The Ashwinder lives for only an hour. During that time, seeks a dark and secluded spot in which to lay its eggs. Okay. After which it will collapse into dust. Okay, and I completely forgot about this. Um, so I could actually put it here. What else do I have to do? So I could put this somewhere here. Um, okay, then it's about the eggs. So this I have to put perfectly right. Ashwinder eggs are brilliant, red, and give off intense heat. They will ignite uh, the dwelling within minutes if not found and frozen with a suitable charm. I should probably write something about that charm if I can't find it somewhere. Any wizard Realizing that one or more Ashwinder eggs are loose in the house, must trace them immediately. and locate the rest of the eggs and locate the nest of the eggs oops that's okay once frozen these eggs are of great value for use in love potions like this one and maybe eating whole as cure for 
I don't know what that is. And here we have Ashwinders are found worldwide and it's a temperate stuff. And then I'm just gonna do something with this later on. And I think it's a bit, you know, dark, this ink. I might try to find maybe a brown ink or something. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you really soon in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like what I do, it really helps my channel and I will see you soon. Bye guys!